Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I was hoping to show the H2D integrated into Orca Slicer, but we still don't have that yet and I think that's super interesting. So in today's video, what I thought would be cool would be to show the things that I'm using in Bamboo Studio 2.0 on my X1C and A1 Mini that I think are really, really cool and things that I overlooked in the original um, overview that I did last week. Now that I've been printing with it for a week, there's a couple of really, really cool things that I've seen that solve some of the issues that I've seen before, especially when we bring models from Maker World into Bamboo Studio. So in today's video, I'll be going over some of those cool new features that I've been using over the last week in Bamboo Studio 2.0, and hopefully you can use them too. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so here we are in Orca Slicer and still no option for the H2D. So we'll continue to um, look for that in the future. All right, so in the past, um, whenever we were on Maker World and we wanted to download one of these models, if you didn't select this up here correctly for the printer or and um, you don't have your filament set up the same way as the um, you know, the model maker or whatever that, that set this stuff up, you'd have to spend a little bit of time, um, you know, adjusting everything in Bamboo Studio uh, to get everything to line up and to match. And even if something as simple as here that has three colors in it, um, that could be a challenge sometimes. Um, so in Bamboo Studio 2.0, there's a couple of things that they've done that I think make this way, way easier. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So I'm going to select a P1P. So I'm going to totally select the wrong uh, printer type for this model that I'm going to download. And we're going to open that in Bamboo Studio. All right. So once it's loaded in Bamboo Studio, it's smart enough to realize that I had the wrong printer selected. And it says the currently connected printer, my Bamboo X1C, is a Bamboo X1 carbon model. To use this printer for printing, please switch the printer model of the project file to Bamboo X1 Carbon, and it allows me to switch now. Now the X1 Carbon is selected and everything like that. The second piece are these, um, you know, filaments that it's using, and you'll see there, there's a star on here. I think they changed one of the filaments in there. And everything like that but that doesn't match where my filaments are i do have a gray i do have a white and i do have a black in my ams's but that's not you know where they are at so i can sync the filaments and there's where it changed the pla basic i don't want to save those values you could save those values if you want but now it's mapping to the model so now in B4, I do have gray, uh, I think it's the blue gray or whatever filament. In slot A1, I do have black PLA and in slot A2, I have white PLA. So it mapped it to the model that I was at that is super duper handy um, whenever you're bringing in these models. That was one of the pains um, that we had to go through before and you had to switch your filaments around or you had to go into objects and change all of that. So I think this is really, really cool. So we can synchronize now and you'll see that um, it synchronized all of my filaments or whatever, but it mapped them in a way um, that matches the model that I just downloaded. So I thought that was super duper cool. So now let's go ahead and slice um, the model. So now we'll see that the model is sliced. It's going to take an hour and 47 um, minutes and um, about 30 minutes for the flushing um, and everything like that. Now there are some things that we can do with the flushing volumes that is new to um, Studio 2.0 as well. Um, 
I'm going to leave it at the standard multiplier and maybe we'll um, check that out in future ones, but it looks like it's doing a better job or at least seems to be, I used to put this multiplier at like 0.3 to 0.5 um, to flush stuff out and I didn't get a lot of bleed through. You have to be careful, especially when using a dark and a light color, like a black and a white. If you make this number too low, you'll get some bleed through because it's not um, flushing enough. Uh, we'll leave it as, as is there, but um, it is cool to see that whenever we slice it, it shows us how much um, time we're going to spend on flushing. So let's go ahead and print this thing, and we'll see in one week that we already have a difference in that as well. <laughs> so as we remember before, we had to hit the advanced button to get all of the um, different settings in there. Now... Um, it looks like they removed the use the AMS button and now you just have the time lapse flow calibration and auto bed leveling um, with these little drop downs instead of the rocker switches that we had before. So it looks like they're still doing some improvements on the UI here and it's <laughs> changed up within a week. So we'll pay attention to that. I do kind of like this setup that they have here. I think this is really, really nice. All of the options that you need are there. Everything's presented in a cool way. Um, so everything's, um, you know, pretty cool to me. So let's go ahead and print these little um, sharks out. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right. Another thing that I've been experimenting with over the past week and printing more and more with are two new infill patterns that have been added. Um, so the zigzag and the cross zag infill patterns. So be sure to check those out as well. I've been um, really enjoying um, the cross zag, especially in a lot of my prints. All right, and if you want any more information on any of the things that I spoke about today or any of the other features that are in um, Bamboo Studio 2, um, then let me know below, um, but I'll show you some of the things um, that I was looking at. So here is the printer preset auto sync recommendation. Um, so this is where it was talking about, um, you know, when you bring in a model with a 3MF file that does not match the printer type of the connected printer, it allows you to do that. So that's where that came from. So if you want to read a little bit more about that, you can. Here's some more information on the override mode and the mapping mode. So if you want to read more into that, this is probably one of the coolest things that I've seen them do. And I can't wait to see what this does with the dual nozzles. I think that will be another game changer there. The new sparse infill types are here. And this is from a, um, you know, a a maker's contribution here for the zig zigzag and cross zag infill type so that was cool and then for the release notes on the um you know print user interface changing i saw um after i saw that in the slicer i came back and this is on the normal um update there um, so you'll see some more information around um, the send print job um, update as well, if you want to read about that there. So I hope you enjoyed today's um, video and um, get a glimpse at some of the new features that have been added to Bamboo Studio that I'm really enjoying. And I, I got to say that right now is going to be a great time for all of us and, and for those of you that have invested in bam, Bamboo and in Bamboo Printers. I think we'll see a, a lot of really, really good innovation, not only from the flagship, new flagship model, the H2D, um, but from <clears throat> but from the different um, slicers as well. So Bamboo Studio and Orca and different slicers are all going to have to step their game up to compete with each other. So all of this innovation and competition is just great for all of the makers out here that are watching this video today. So I am looking forward to more and more things that will be added to Bamboo Studio, as well as things that will be added to Orca Slicer and the innovation that comes out of all of the competition. So buckle up, everybody. I think it's going to be really, really cool from here. 
Uh, so comment below on what your um, new favorite feature is in Bamboo Studio 2.0 and let everybody else know what you um, are enjoying. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button. Be sure to smash the subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video. And I hope to see you on the live stream. Appreciate everybody watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.